I'm Samantha Deitcher for Investment Pitch Media. Eximin Mining Corporation has started the Fall 2017 work program on the Brett Gold property. The 20,000 hectare Brett Gold project is located about 30 kilometers west of Vernon and 70 kilometers southeast of Kamloops. The current program will focus on the main shear zone, including the RW pit, the portal site and Trench 21. The company will conduct chip and channel sampling within the RW pit to provide information on gold distribution within the pit. The resulting information will be used for bulk sample planning and open pit design. The Brett main portal will be secured and a portal door will be installed. A detailed chip and channel sampling survey is also planned for the main shear zone at the Trench 21 area to confirm reported gold grades. The gold-bearing RW vein is located northwest of the main shear zone and is considered an extension of the main zone. The main shear zone has been traced over 650 meters along strike with reported widths of 1 to 10 meters and a vertical extent of 250 meters. Extensive exploration has been conducted on the Brett property since the 1980s, including multiple drilling programs, including drilling programs by Eximin during 2014 and 2016. Multiple drill intersections exceeding 1.0 ounce per tonne gold have been reported. During the mid-1990s, contractors completed 360 meters of underground development at the main shear zone, with approximately 1,400 tons of mineralized muck being stockpiled on a dump. The estimated grade of this material was reported to average 4 to 5 grams per ton gold. Also during the mid-1990s, a 115 meter length of the RW vein was excavated along with a 55 meter long length of the main shear zone at Trench 21. An estimated 291 tons of mineralized material averaging 27.74 grams per ton gold and 63.7 grams per ton silver from these excavations were shipped to a smelter. Eximin owns 100% of all three of its precious metal projects in British Columbia, the Gold Drop and Brett Gold projects in southern British Columbia, and the Treasure Mountain Silver project adjacent to the past-producing Huldra Silver Mine. If you're starting to prepare for your year-end taxes, it may be time to consider a flow-through investment. The company announced plans to raise gross proceeds of up to $250,000 through the issuance of up to 5 million flow-through units priced at 5 cents per unit. Each unit consists of one share and one warrant, with each warrant exercisable at five cents for 60 months, subject to an acceleration clause. In addition to accredited investors, the offering is open to current shareholders. The company is also relying on other Securities Commission exemptions, allowing non-accredited investors to purchase the private placement, provided they have obtained advice from a registered investment dealer. The shares are trading at 3.5 cents, and with 87.6 million shares outstanding, the company is capitalized at $3.1 million. For more information, please visit the company's website, eximinminingcore.com, contact Wesley Worth Anderson at 604-488-3900, or email ir at eximinminingcore.com. I'm Samantha Deitcher for Investment Pitch Media.